Why is it important to cast seeds? What do I mean? Is a YouTube video kind of like a seed? Well, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Basic Blue, and on my channel I talk about, well, a variety of stuff. I do reactions, news content, political stuff, some religious stuff. In this case, it's going to be, I guess, a combination of philosophical and religious, and also a little bit of a, a YouTube-ish kind of tutorial, almost. I don't know. Go ahead and press that like button right now. Don't even think about it. Look, everything to know about sowing seeds. This is from the family handyman, handyman uh, from Luke Miller. And Luke writes that starting plants from seed is easy when you follow a few simple rules. Here's what you need to know about sowing seeds. Who wants to wait around for seeds to grow? You do. <laughs> that is, if you want to save money, grow a greater selection of plants and enjoy an ongoing natural process that dates back millions of years. So the first thing about planting seeds is that it's it's kind of how we eat, right? As a civilization, <laughs> if we don't know how to grow things, you know, if we don't know how to plant things in the ground, how do you expect to grow? I don't know, food, you know, in a, in a field. Do you think it's just magical? No, of course not. There's certain elements that have to come into play. A certain amount of rain, you know, pre precipitation has to come and uh, water that field. And then you have to have a certain amount of sunlight. You have to have, let's say, happiness and sadness on your life for a certain message to grow with inside of you. The Bible talks about sowing seeds. You know, what does the Bible say about sowing seeds? The Bible often uses metaphors for conveying wisdom and truth. Now, one example of this is sowing seeds, <laughs> quote unquote, of love and righteousness that will blossom into beautiful things later in life. This reminds us to think beyond the present to the future and how our actions and choices will impact tomorrow and beyond. Scripture warns us to discern what we do in life as we will ultimately reap what we sow. As Galatians 6-7 says, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked for whatever one sows, that he will also reap. Now, why am I, why am I quoting all this stuff? Who is this crazy person? He thinks he's going to talk religion stuff to us. All I'm really getting at is that it's much easier to create like a crazy amount of content if you have, you know, wind in your sails, so to speak. And God talks about uh, right in the Bible. Okay, I'm going to read now from Psalms. This is not on the screen. I have my little Bible here. Psalms uh, 62, 12. Uh, listen to this. Also to you, O Lord, belongs mercy. For you render to each one according to his work. Now, does that sound like seeds and work are kind of the same thing? You know, if it kind of takes a little bit of work, right, to plant a seed. I mean, if you're going to do it right, you can just chuck them around. <laughs> but if you just chuck seeds around rather than, you know, diligently planting them in a specific kind of orderly way, well, then your ability to reap a larger percentage of those seeds is, is probably now reduced, right? Because, yeah, you can do the Johnny Appleseed thing and walk along and just chuck them wherever, but some of those seeds are going to land on pavement. They're going to land on barren ground that doesn't have very much um, precipitation or who knows, maybe some of the seeds land like in a pond you know, or in a creek where they, they don't have any dirt, right? What selling a seed really means uh, this is from jonathanhood.ca. He writes, One of the greatest principles in life is the concept of sowing seeds. This concept teaches us that if we give something, we can receive something in return. If we plant something in the proper conditions, water, feed, and grow it, we can reap something bigger and greater. We have the power to build something that can multiply itself. Big reason why I'm making this type of content is to show people that good messages have a kind of a tendency to be propagated on their own. Like, in other words, I still believe in humanity enough to where if somebody hears a good message and they feel joyous enough and, and helped enough from that message, 
Well, then isn't it kind of um, not that hard to understand that they'd want to share it with others? That's kind of what a seed is. It grows from something small. Uh, it grows from the, the, the trunk. Then you have your branches come out. Then from there, you get little twigs and you might get, you know, some leaves on those twigs. And then eventually you have some type of fruit or a, a, some sort of seed bearing device, let's call it that, that's going to allow new seeds to fall in other places. And so if you're watching this and you're like, well, I, I still don't, I'm not sure I quite get it. I, I mean, I kind of get the seed thing, but what does he, what does he really mean? Okay, this article gets kind of deep. I mean, we, <laughs> upon returning, we had to pass that same area. When we passed, we saw that same man again, only this time he stopped us. He said, I had to stop you because I want to thank you. Regardless, if you knew it or not, I was going to commit suicide. I was here before the church saying my last prayers before uh, jumping over this bridge. I was ready to go. I was so down and alone. I felt like no one cared that I was ready to end it all. But I didn't because of you. You stopping and spending those five minutes made me feel like I was important. You're the reason why I'm still here. Now let's... <laughs> I mean, the very next sentence says, this made me think. <laughs> So let's, let, let, let's talk about that for a second. Let's think about, you know, do you think it makes sense to create seeds um, that grow poisonous things? Do you want nightshade to grow everywhere? Or do you think it, it, it is better for your, for your own life? I mean, you, you can apply selfishness to this if, you, if it makes you feel better. <laughs> because the cumulative effect is still good. If you want to think of it in a selfish way, then spreading good around you is still going to come back to you. That, that is what the articles are saying. That is what I'm saying. You know, if you create your own content and you spread good messaging to others, that effect can be like a contagion. And through all of my other videos, I am trying to use that word, contagion, because we are fighting a social contagion that is bad. And so if you spread a good social contagion, well, then that can be like seeds. You know, we have fields and fields and fields now <laughs> of uh, seeds that have been planted in our society that are not good. And particularly in our youth. And they're the ones that have the most, um, I would say, fertile, you know, soil beds, let's say, or the most influential, easy to be influenced generation. And so if you want to plant, you know, bad seeds, what do you think is going to happen? The only thing I can figure out is that why people are not waking up to what I'm trying to say is that they, they just don't perceive that these kind of forces that are working their way through our society are truly bad. It's like somehow they can't see it. Maybe they have a bad seed in themselves. And it's hard for them to hear somebody like myself speak something that is kind of profound and simple at the same time. You know, spreading a good message through the world, you know, that each one should be awarded according to his work to spread good seeds upon those who, who will receive the message. That is what, you know, we're called to do, actually, uh, if, you're, if you're Christian. But it, it's not to brainwash people. It's because if you can testify, and I can myself, that God has helped you in your life. You know, I prayed for 10 years for God to change a condi condition in my life so I could become a better father all right, to my son, and he rewarded me, but it, it didn't happen the way I thought it would. I lost a tremendously bad family court case. It didn't, you know, it didn't occur the way I thought it would. I had to leave a high-paying job. So if you're wondering, well, where does this guy get all of his inspiration from? It must be really easy for him to sit there and preach to us on that high pulpit that he has he has everything. We, we don't have anything. No. 
every one of us is fighting their own internal uh, war against temptation and sin. Whether you, whether you believe it or not, you're doing that. Okay, so the seed that I'm trying to plant with this video is twofold. If, if you're an aspiring YouTube creator, okay, maybe you can get some inspiration out of what I'm saying. It, it doesn't have to be necessarily full-on religious messaging. You can just show people that, you know, communicating uh, good things can lead to better societies. You know, so that's, that is kind of what I'm trying to do is, is be aware that if you communicate to somebody else a particularly bad idea, that it, <laughs> there could be consequences beyond what you initially perceive. You know, all oh, that's nothing. Don't worry about that. You're just being prude. No, that's, that's nothing. You're just not accepting enough. Do you want good seeds or bad seeds <laughs> in the world? You know, I think we want more good seeds than bad seeds. So try to, try to get your head around that. If you want a healthy garden with lots of good food to eat, you know, so you want to be nice and full, then work on starting to plant good seeds in life. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that content for today. That's all I got. Uh, it's kind of a rant, but at the same time, it's grounded in a type of reality that most people don't seem to want to really acknowledge these days. So let me know what you think about that. Leave me a comment. Do you believe that is it is important, uh, you know, to, to plant seeds or you think it's just all gobbledygook and well i only believe what i see in front of me and i don't believe in any sort of potential in the thing it's just a seed at this point you know it's not a plant so if we kill the seed then what's the big deal oh did i just touch upon another subject there sorry about that i tend to do that a little bit as always make sure to leave a comment a like press the subscription button you know to be a subscriber you've made it this far you might as well plant that seed in your brain and just watch all my videos at this point. <laughs> Press the notification bell. I'm Basic Blue. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.